Hi, and hello, citizens of Westeros, along with Maurice Thrones Drew and Handsome Hank Hod, son of the Harpy. I am Dave Damastark, and welcome to our weekly review of Game of Thrones. All are welcome, except for you, Ramsey, that guy. I he's, like him. He's he's on my team. Like really? him, Maurice. I love him. You like Ramsey. I love Ramsey. Not Jalen Ramsey. No, no, not Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey Bolton, who will do whatever it takes to get his kingdom, just like uh, Baratheon, Stannis. Stannis Baratheon did when he burned his child alive. He fed a baby to... to Pooches. That was uncool. They were hungry. What is not uncool, in fact, it's quite cold. We are here just north of the wall, as you can plainly see. Much happened up at Castle Black. We're huddled together right now for warmth. But let's take a look back, starting off with the resurrection of Jon Snow. How did we feel, fellas? We saw his tuchus and everything. We really did. He looks better than you, and he's been dead for a few weeks. That's true. I don't think that's a good way to start the proceedings here. I loved it. I thought I oh, called it. I said the Red Witch was going to come in and pray over him like she did. I said all those things. I called it. We had some people here who are in this room that you can't see who said that they were going to set him on fire and do all this other stuff. But I knew it. Once he burned his hand when the White Walkers came to attack the... Uh, the head guy of the mm -hmm. Night Watch and him and Ghost had to go get him. I knew he couldn't come back from fire. They prayed over him. He comes back alive. Now we're here. I thought, though, I thought it was an important thing that they did that just because he was resurrected from being dead, that he still had to deal with the small matter of gigantic sword right. wounds all over his body it that happens. they actually hurt him. It does happen. It does, exactly. You come back from the <laughs> dead, but you, this, everything still hurts. You didn't want people hugging him because it, it, still, it still hurt. Well, I thought the best thing about it was when they asked him, what do you remember? What did you see after you died? He said nothing. Nothing. That means Heavy. there is yeah. no afterlife. There is no, there is no God. That's official now. And, yes. and yet, we are sliding more and more in this season towards more of a religious vibe. We see the High Sparrow, yes. obviously. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's consumed King's Landing. And the Red Witch, too. She's referring to some God. But the question for me is, shouldn't business be booming for the Red Witch? If she has the power to raise somebody from the dead, shouldn't everybody be knocking on the door? Hey, what about uh, getting Ned Stark back? We'll just tie his head back on and make no, him you right. Get, well, you cut someone's head off. There, there that's no it. Coming back. Yeah, that's done. There, there's no coming but she'd back. lost confidence. Now she's regained her confidence. The problem is that John now he looks like he's lost a little bit of his confidence. What did you well. think about when she showed her true colors? Oh, I, I mean, you know, that was a, that's an interesting view. On I life. was eating sushi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish you could see my face when that when that happened. But well, what about though? So the wildling guy, the red bearded fellow. What's like his name? Him. I like him. What's his name? I don't know his name. Someone either. chat his name. All up. right. Hey, listen. Whatever he, his name is, apparently Thurman. there's a big, what is it? Thurman? Thurman. I don't know. Thurman? Listen, Tormund. 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 Whatever his name is, he and Jon Snow are best of pals, or even cracking wise back and forth now. There is a fan rumor going around that these two are, in fact, combined with the Umber guy, little guy, what, what's his name? The bearded guy who the showed up at the end. The bearded guy showed up. Uh, and said, Ramsey's I'm not going to kneel to you. None of that rubbish yep. for me. Instead, I brought you a gift, and he reveals that he has Rickon, or Rickon, uh, Stark. Yep. And so... I don't know if his name is Rickon. <laughs> Rickon? What's his name? Rickon. Is this Rickon? Rickon. It's Rick Rickon. I thought it was Rickon Stark. All right, whatever. Listen, Rickon now, or Rickon, whatever his name is, apparently, maybe Ramsey's going to get his, because the rumor is that now that Umber guy is in, it has some sort of an allegiance with Jon Snow, and now they're going to try and draw Ramsey to go out into the wild. And when they go out into the wild, the Umbers and Jon Snow and the Wildlings will all pounce and kill Ramsey's kill army. Kill Ramsey, you are right. Listen, I tell you what, and if that happens, so be it. But I know Ramsey's going to go down with a fight now. What we really need to talk about are the giants that yep. Jon Snow has on his on his. How many army. has he got? He got. I don't know. He, got has, one. he definitely has one. How many do you need, really? Yeah, once you I, got I the mean, one. But you go if you if you go into battle and you have to run into Daenerys and those dragons, you need right. a couple because you got to grab them and whip them mm -hmm. around a little bit. What about my the, prediction is that Ramsay dies under the foot of a giant. No, that's, yes. not, that's not bold yep. enough. He skins people alive. That doesn't matter. That would be a pretty satisfying. It would be a satisfying end. You're just crushed. Maurice, no. worst death you've seen on Thrones? Was it uh, maybe which death would Maurice like the least to suffer? Would it be Ooh. getting uh, chewed apart by dogs? How about your head just being burned like a at a stake? 
No, I think the hanging at the end was the, the most gruesome I saw. That was pretty tough. Yeah, John mm -hmm. Snow, not playing any games anymore, yeah. not even sparing a, a minor handsome. How did that make <laughs> you feel? Well, all he deserved it. Like, you know, he turned his back on him, stabbed him in the heart, like he said. And what, what's the fat guy doing with his baby, his adopted Sam? baby? Yeah, what, where's he going? I think Throwing it would be up best all over for the place. everyone if that boat sinks. No, that story, no, I need it. No, I'm with no, Hanson. No. What? I don't care about that. Are you kidding me? I don't care me? about the woman. I don't you care don't about care the about the woman. That, that goes deep into so many different things. You have a wildling woman, right? This guy, Sam, comes, takes care of her. And mind you, we forget, Sam saved a ton of people, mm -hmm. right? He saved a ton of people as well. Sam is, it's, it's, because what happens is Jon Snow's gonna come back. Sam's going to come back and be kind of his conscience. Is it the guy like, I don't know if we should do that because he's read so many books. He knows how to kill the White Walkers. He knows how to kill dragons. He's run, done these things sim similar to Tyrion, right? That's why Tyrion's a Marine. So you need a guy like that on your team that right. can help you, that has the knowledge. You, you're, you're, you just want to go out there and just fight anybody. Yeah. You just want to go out there and go, and then you're going to end up dead like who, all the rest of these guys. A couple more things quickly here. Bran paid witness along with the three-eyed raven to young Ned Stark. They traveled back in time to watch Ned Stark and four, three other fellows, at least three other fellows, take on the guy with the two swords who were protecting Who's that guy? Rihanna Stark. Who's that guy? The, the ultimate fighter. He was. He might be able to beat the mountain. Sir Legane. He might be able to beat the Red Viper. He might even be able to beat Zombie uh, Mount. Sir Arthur Legane. And yet he's dead because he's dead. Ned Stark was revealed to us to be a liar. He's yep. not honorable. No, and indeed. What, and that's what hurts me, Sheck. That's what hurts me, Sheck Stark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's why he lost his head. Maybe, Maybe Stark is, deserved right? to lose his head. You know, this whole time I thought if one person had honor, it was Ned Stark. Mm-hmm. But I've come to, he's lived on a lot. Somebody a came little, up behind that killer and stabbed him in the back why, and Why saved don't they do start. that more often? I'm tired of seeing these guys trying to fight with honor. I'm not, you're not going to kill me, <laughs> right? Everyone's, it was like, it was like four on one. And everybody was waiting for him to pick and fight one guy. Like, no, I'm going to cut his Achilles and we're going to go after him. It's Last like, it's thing. like late career Peyton Manning. We suddenly discovered at the end that he had hmm. a little help. He did. A yeah. little Good. bit. Nice job tying this back to uh, pro Thank football. You. One more thing here. The people sitting around, or the, uh, what, what is the town that they're in where Daenerys left now? She's back with the with Cal Drogo's people. Oh, you're talking people. about the Marine? The Marine. The, the Marine, Marine. Yeah, 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 back in Marine. Now it is Tyrion, Great. the bald guy, mm -hmm. yep. the Darius. unsullied guy, and, uh, and th then the curly-haired woman. These four, between three guys and one wiener to go around between all four of them, if you think about it, because the bald guy doesn't have one, this unsullied guy doesn't, and Tyrion has. I don't has, know why you would go there. Not a whole lot of conversation, it's, right? Like, what does that, I mean, what does it have to do with the price of tea in China? You have, you have pawns. The Tyrion is like the king, and then you have the bald guy is like the knight. Mm -hmm. See, he can go out and find smart the pieces. Knight. He's smart. He moves yeah. in certain ways. Then the Sullys are the are the the pawns. Mm -hmm. And the girl, I think, she's going to end up being the queen because she's the key. She speaks what nineteen different languages. So they say yeah. she's like C three PO for Westeros. There you go. <laughs> you know. Um, all right. Well, we'll see what happens. And by the way, I mean this is an obvious one. Those dragons are going to go and get the name. Yeah, the right? she's. I don't believe she's going to be fine. They're yeah. gonna lay she was looking at those, those other people. women like, hey, look, I'm not going to be here for long. That's fine. You know, have a couple of digs at me. That my dragons are going to come and burn you. All right, quick little promo here to wrap things up. Uh -huh. On the Dave Damashek football program on Tuesday's episode, we're going to do a little draft here. Game of Thrones fantasy. Here are the rules for you. We're going to take five people each, and we've created five tiers for them. We'll, uh, we'll get into greater uh, detail when we do that on the Dave Damashek football program. Check that out. Handsome Hank Hodge, son of the Harpy, Maurice Thrones Drew, Dave Damastark. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you after the next episode of The Thrones. In the meantime, stay alive. Look out for White Walkers. <laughs>